What is up everybody? Hungry Capigun here. I have got some Pokemon mystery packs for you today. These ones are 500 yen a piece. We have 10. Hopefully we can get something good. I think, I mean, the top prizes were not amazing, but um, seems like they're reasonably generous with what they put in there. So should at least get something out of every pack, hopefully. Um, let's see how we go anyway. So first one, I don't know what's the system here. How are they going to organize this? I can see something shiny that way. Okay. All right. Let's just go from the back, whatever it is. It's a Hooper Hollow. Okay. Good start. It's a, uh, what am I trying to say? Greninja Hollow. I guess the middle card will be the, the good card. Oh, it's a Buzzwell. Out of rotation, but uh, still pretty nice. Wait, was that the good card? We got Dusk Noor and oh, 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 all right, all right. So you might be thinking, hey, that's a Savala GX, whatever. This is the promo shiny one that I really tried to get for ages and I could never get it. Um, now I have it. I don't actually know if it's worth anything now that it's out of rotation, but I still tried really hard to get this card. Shiny Silvali, yay. Nice, nice, nice. And we just got a little bonus Buzzwell. So, that is a pretty nice pack. I think that we definitely got our $5 worth. I don't actually know on the Silvali, but it's still a promo, so, you know, shouldn't be affected as much by rotating out, you know, as a typical card would be. It's a good start. Very satisfied with that. All right, what are we talking this way? Oh, oh, I don't know, actually, how's this going to work? We've got an Ultra Necrozma, Hollow. We've got an Ultra Necrozma, Hollow. It's the, uh, the Dawn Wings and the Dustman. Oh, we got Shiny from Ultra Shiny. Deancey, okay, I guess that was the good card. Let's just see if there's anything else. Oh, Macargo GX is actually good at the moment. And a Fiery Flint, that is a good card as well. That was a nice pack as well. I mean, Macargo is not crazy expensive, but um, worth a couple of bucks at the moment because people are playing it for the GX attack, I guess. Not, uh, definitely not for the, uh, not playing it to play, actually play it. They're playing it to use a Mewtwo. Mew, Mewtwo. Nice DNC. I do have this one already, I think. Man, I hope they put some more shinies in here. I'd be very happy with that. I do like these shiny cards a lot. Uh, rip fairy type though, huh? No more of them coming. All right, let's see. Oh, I see something at the back. All right. Oh, that's SMA. Is that from a deck? It must be. Okay, two, two GXs, all right. Let's look at the middle one last because the middle one seems to be the best. Another GX, more while. Oh no, get out of here, circuitry. And, oh, oh, all right. All right, all right, all right, I see you. Precious ball, what is it called in English? Cherish ball, trainer rare. Unfortunately, I don't think it's worth like 10 bucks anymore, but it's still a nice card to get. And we got four GXs in there. Interesting. So, I mean, that's not on the top prizes list, but I mean, for $5, even though all these GXs are not very good, still seems like a good deal, honestly. And uh, what is that one, Primarina? SMA, what is that? Is that a deck? SMA. I don't know what that is. This is from Fairy Rise, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that was a pretty good one as well. Honestly, not doing too bad so far. I don't know if we've got anything, you know, super good to date, but uh, we have got some nice stuff that 
is the best thing so far, I have to say. I think we might have to put all the hollows into a pile. Okay. Regular card. Regular card. We haven't really got many of them. Um, Alright, let's go this way. Unit energy. That's not bad. Random Starmie. And... Oh! That's actually not bad either. Volcanion Prism Star. Did get reprinted, unfortunately, in Tag All Stars. But uh, it was very expensive for a while, like about 20 bucks. I think that those days are gone. But it's still a nice card, so we're actually doing alright. Let's get all these hollows in a pile. We really actually can't complain so far. It's been quite good. Yeah, I don't know what that Volcanion is at now. Definitely not 2,000 yen, but um, still probably reasonable to get. And that's the original one, SM6. That's not the reprinted one. Okay. Ooh. We got a uh, Ultra Shiny Reverse card. I guess we should put that there in case we get some more. Just got a, another regular card, a Weezing. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, it's the reset whole marshadow. That's good. Take that. We got another Necrozma, another uh, Dawnwings. And we got a Solgaleo, of course, that makes sense. This card also was quite expensive for a time. When it came out, it was pretty good. Just that big HP and the, the decent attack. Um, it was pretty good, honestly. Like, it was hard for things to, to one-hit it, and it was only a one-prize card. Um, I seem to recall selling one for like 10 or 15 dollars but um, it's worth a lot less now because again it was reprinted but again that is the original one so that's kind of cool I like that um, I'm getting the the original even though um, doesn't really actually make any difference surprisingly in Japan seems like uh, if, if it's reprinted they don't care which version it is it's just the card is the card all right oh, I saw something in the middle Oh, that's good as well. Jeez, we're getting some good stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. We've got a uh, Guzzlord. Guzzle, Guzzle. We've got a Drillbur. we got another Reverse. That would have been actually a good card to get when that was still in rotation. The, the Reverse Hooper. I guess people still play it in Expanded. That was an annoying card to deal with. And we got an Espion Deoxys. This is from a deck. It's not so good. Uh, in terms of value, I think it's only, you know, $1 or something. Because you can just buy it in a deck and you get two, I think, in the deck. But um, still a good card. Again, played card. So, you know, we haven't really got anything terrible yet. Haven't actually got anything good either. But we haven't got anything terrible. So that's like... I'm happy to strike that balance. Oh, all right, I saw something that way. Got an Alolan Ninetales Hollow. Very nice looking. We got, oh, a Cynthia Reverse. That would have been worth some money at one stage as well. No longer. Even though people still play Cynthia, it's just so easy to get them now. They've been reprinted in everything. Every deck has them. We got an Ultra Necrozma. Every deck that you buy, that is. We got a uh, Buzzwell. Another Buzzwell. And we got a Reshazard, which, this is the original one, this is the proper one, from the, its actual set, not the reprinted one, but again, does not matter. Um, they were very expensive, as well, not anymore, as well, maybe one dollar, which I know is crazy if you're buying English packs, but um, yeah, like, all the good ones that were reprinted in Tag All Stars, like the... Picaram, all that stuff, they're like a dollar, maybe even less, depending on where you go. They're very, very cheap. So, nice card, good card, but uh, not worth a whole bunch, unfortunately. Let's go this way, all right. We got an unknown. Missing. We got a Oricorio, that's old, SM1 Plus, reverse. That was 
this? It's a moth. No, I have seen a Zerka tree and a moth. We just need a wishy-washy. Complete the trifecta. Ooh, we got a reverse uh, copycat, which is not looking in the best condition. And the last card is... Ooh, all right, all right. Not one of the top prizes, um, but I like Turtonator, and I like this card. It's probably a few bucks um, to buy, because it's been rotated out, but this is another card that I like playing as well. It has that really annoying uh, trap shell attack. It does 20, but then they get 80 damage if they, they hit into you. That was always good. So I didn't mind that at all, and that's a nice... Nice looking pool, but uh, not one of the, the top prizes that we were looking for. Oh, alright, I see something in the middle. Alright, this might be another one with 5GXs in it, but look at it. Alright, we got um, Galispard, we got a Honchcrow GX. What's this? Oh no, we got White Kiram Hollow. We got, wait, is that the good one? No, that's not the good. Uh, what are you called? Gloom turns into Vile Plume. No, not the good one. And, oh! Hello, I haven't seen you for a while. Are you still worth anything? I don't know, Espeon was pretty decent. This is from um, Sun, Sun and Moon base set, SM1S. That's old school. We're getting some old school stuff in here. That's actually, I don't know, actually, do people still play it at all? Probably not. But, I mean, it is pretty good, honestly. Definitely, what that was also very annoying to play against. They always confuse you. They can hit you for a, a lot of damage, depending on how much energy you have on your Pokemon. Actually, you know, that would probably be pretty good in Expanded because people are putting lots and lots of energy on stuff, and then you just go boom and hit them with that. It's not bad. All right, last one. It's kind of getting some surprises out of this, honestly. We got another, what's his name? Uh, coughing and wheezing, there you go, there's coughing. What's in this last one? Can we get one of the good prizes? We got a Galispod, is that the same artwork? No, that's the original Galispod. And that's the, uh, the different artwork. Same card, but different artwork. We got a Darkrai Hollow. And final chance. We got another Macago, which, like I said, is not actually terrible. Um, I have to check what they're going for these days. But we got two, so that's not bad. They definitely were throwing a lot of old stuff in here. Interesting. Oh, I didn't sleep this. We got the two different Gilda Spot artworks. It's kind of cool. This was a very good card as well. A lot of these are good. They're just not worth anything. So... You know, we can't really complain with what we got. Um, so we put in, what, 5,000 yen. The the best thing I really think is the uh, Silvali promo. But we did get a full art. We did get a shiny. We got a couple of Prism Stars. We got the uh, Precious Ball Trainer Air, which is not bad either. Um, yeah, I mean, we can't complain. So what did we say? 5,000 yen for 10. 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 GXs. Not bad. Um, and one of them being a full art. And then we got a couple of prisms. We got a shiny. We got a trainer rare. I mean, it's not bad, honestly. Like, you could get a worse box than that for sure for the same price. So, yeah. Pretty happy with that. Um, so, anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.